Hey guys, this is me Akash here for Vipin Sharma Biology Tutorials. So today I'm here on this platform to start a new chapter that is your Biodiversity and Conservation. This is your chapter number 15 in class 12th NCRT Biology and this is your introductory video. So before starting the video, let me introduce myself to you people first since I'm new to this channel. Okay, so my name is Akash and I'm a first year student of ME Biotechnology at Bits Milani. So I cracked my GATE Biotechnology 2018 followed by cracking DBT JRF 2018 with an All India rank of 85. I'm a biotechnology enthusiast and a teaching enthusiast as well. I'm one of Vipin's friend who would like to contribute to his platform and I would like to thank Vipin for giving me this opportunity to contribute my stuff, whatever little knowledge or whatever little things which I can share with you people. Thank you Vipin for that. Okay, so the topic which I'm going to discuss in this chapter would be the concepts of biodiversity. I'll dig down deep into what biodiversity actually means. I'll break down this term and uh, we'll talk about various levels of organizations of biodiversities ranging from genetic level biodiversity, diversity, species level, ecosystem level and the global level. We'll talk a lot about that. Patterns of biodiversity like this biodiversity is not at even uh, not at all even on this planet. Some areas have larger biodiversity, some have lower, which depends upon the latitude and the altitude of that place. We'll talk in depth about that, the patterns in which the biodiversity is arranged. Followed by talking a bit about the importance of biodiversity, why we are learning, so need to learn about this biodiversity topic. What's the importance in our life, in the stability of an ecosystem, in the stability of human life on Earth. Followed by loss of biodiversity, we are losing this biodiversity, we don't have to lose it, right? What's the importance? Once we know the importance of biodiversity, then we'll talk about what factors are there which are leading to the loss of those biodiversity. Followed by conservation, as we know that we are losing biodiversity, then we'll talk how to conserve that biodiversity. We'll talk about in situ biodiversity conser conservation, ex situ biodiversity conservation. And these all terms, I think you people know, but we'll talk briefly about each and everything hotspots and en endangered species extension red data book biosphere reserves because a lot of questions are out there ranging from i'll do a comparative study also don't worry about that okay so the highlights of the chapter from uh, would be like the whole chapter which i'm going to talk is totally based on one book that is ncrt biology i'll try to follow one by one word by word Slides upload would be there. The slides which I'm using in this chapter will be uploaded on my drive and the drive link will be given to you in the description below. You can check that out. So the best thing in this was like you don't have to pause the video and write all the contents out there. What's there, what's not there, what's the red terms which I'm highlighting, all the stuff as the slides would upload would be there. Questions discussion would definitely take place. It might happen that while explaining I'll miss out some topics. But when it comes to question discussion, all the questions in the NCRT pack will be discussed in, in this series of videos. So you don't, there's no need to worry like this topic is left or this topic is left, this topic is not touched and all. Don't no need to worry about that. Some topics will be missed in the video, but that would be definitely covered in the question section. Back questions of NCRT and the NCRT examples, all this will be discussed. Followed by discussing some questions of the previous peer papers of your uh, NEET and PMTs other PMTs. This is because you gain, get an ability to apply all the content which I'm delivering through videos. You'll get an idea how to apply those content in those questions, in solving those questions. So likewise, you'll prepare for your board examinations as well, further followed by your PMTs and all, how to apply those concepts in that. So that's kind of it for this video. If you like this video, please continue to watch it since it's going to be amazing out there. So that's kind of it guys. Keep watching Vipin Sharma Biology Tutorials. Thank you.